Hey everyone, I'm driving back to Vegas from LA uh, from a plane out there at a church. I've been getting a lot of questions recently about why I switched from Kemper to the Helix and I uh, wanted to just make a video instead of typing the same thing um, to everybody. So uh, the first thing I want to say is that they're both great units and you can get great tones out of both of them. Uh, and you can throw Fractal in there too, anything from Fractal. I've heard good tones from those guys and I've heard bad tones from those guys. From each unit, I've heard good tones and bad tones. So I don't think that each unit has its own sonnet signature or something that gives it away. Um, they're all great. And if you know what you're doing, you can get good tones out of any of them. Um, so the main reasons I switched um, from the Kemper to the Helix was that I was using pedals with the Kemper um, and I kind of wanted to ditch that and get rid of the problems with pedals, like always flipping drives and noise and failing cables and they're heavy and expensive and uh, kind of unreliable. I had some cables fail um, over the years and it's just annoying. Uh, the reason I didn't get the Kemper remote was because it's a little less flexible uh, on the fly than the Helix. On the Helix you can have 10 stomps up at once whereas on the Kemper you can have five presets and four stomps sort of. Um, it's a little more complicated than that but uh, the Helix is a little more flexible um, in a live situation. The next reason is that it's all in one so with the Kemper, even if you're just using the remote, I mean, it's still pretty slick, but uh, you still have to set up the Kemper and then plug in the remote and run the cord out there and everything. So um, I just wanted an all-in-one unit. The next reason is price. Uh, Helix is a lot cheaper, obviously. And that kind of just goes without saying, especially if you get the LT and uh, get it used. You should be able to get it for $8.99 on uh, Sweetwater if you ask your rep for 10% off. Um, that's tough to beat. The next reason is kind of the interface. I just kind of prefer the Helix interface. It's real simple to use and it has bright flashy colors that are all color-coded with the type of effects you're running. Kemper kind of has that too, but it's just not as intuitive to me. The workflow on the unit is kind of complicated to me. The next reason is that on the Helix you can run two amps in parallel. I realize on the Kemper you can toggle between two amps, but it's just not the same. You can also run two cabs in parallel or you know however you want to set it up. So the Helix is just a lot more flexibility in my opinion. As far as effects go, I think all three units, you know, including Fractal, they all have great effects. Um, they all sound great um, from what I've heard online and in person. Um, so that had nothing to do with it. So really it was just kind of a workflow thing. You know, I like the workflow on the Helix a little better. And then the last thing is just that the Kemper is a little more plug and play. So you kind of just download profiles and then load them onto the Kemper and you're good to go. You have a great sounding tube amp that's been mic'd up by some pro in Nashville or something. Um, whereas on the Helix, you kind of got to dial it in a little bit. On some of my videos, I just kind of pull up the stock amp settings, which is fine. But uh, if you want to change that, there's a lot more ways to go wrong than there is to go right, if that makes sense. You, you kind of have to know what you're doing, I guess. Another reason is the weight difference on the Kemper. Once you get it racked up and you have your power supply and then you have the remote too, you're probably pushing 30 pounds, um, whereas the Helix is just 15 pounds by itself, um, and the backpack weighs a couple pounds. So weight is really important to me since I travel around town and out of town a lot. It's just a pain lugging heavy gear around, so the weight was very appealing to me. I think the LT is like 12 pounds too, so it's a lot lighter. Kemper's great, it's a great unit. Um, and this week at camp, I played my buddies Kemper and the remote for one set, just to kind of check it out. Um, and it's great but uh, I'm happy with the Helix. The only other thing I'll say about Kemper is that a guy on the gear page switched from amps and pedals to the Kemper and the remote, and he wrote a blog post about it, so I'll link to that in the description. I found it really interesting. Uh, almost made me want to pick one up and try it out again, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the Helix, so going on about nine months now, so sell all your gear and grab one. The main thing to take away is that they're all great, they all sound good, and they'll all sound bad if you don't know what you're doing um, or you run a bad guitar into them. Uh, they're just going to sound muddy, just like a tube amp and pedals would. So if you're trying to decide between the Kemper and a Helix or a Fractal, just pick the one that you think has the best workflow for you or the ones that you like the sound clips of the most, I guess. I like the Helix. If you want to get the Kemper or Fractal or something like that, go for it. I'm totally in favor of that. Just remember that you don't need tube amps anymore. So sell all your gear and get one.